it's time to play some uh, retro games. Now, these games nowadays are called uh, Abandonware. Uh, basically, it's like freeware, where they don't sell it anymore, but they give it away for free. And you can go download it, and it'll be legit, okay? So it's not pirated shit. It's free. However, you need a uh, DOS emulator. And the best one for that is uh, DOSBox, okay? And it works on uh, Windows, Linux, uh, whatever. All the all the systems nowadays. Uh, so to get that on your Linux here is uh, DOSBox here, and just go ahead and download that and install it. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, to make this process easy, we're gonna use uh, this front end to a DOSBox. It's called DBox. And uh, basically, this one is uh, creates a launcher, so you don't have to deal with uh, you know the command prompt and all that bullshit. Uh, so think of this is like play on Linux and DOSBox is kind of like wine, okay? So the back end and the front end, okay? So think of it like that. Now to get this one, uh, just go to their website. What is it called? DOSBox here, and they have the for the Mac, the Windows, and uh, the Linux, which is Java, okay? So download that and extract it. Uh, since it's Java, it works on any system that has Java, okay? So after you extract it, you'll see something like this, right? The .jar file. So just remember where you put it. So we put it in here, okay? And uh, we're gonna make it a launcher for that. Now to make a launcher, just go to your menus up top and uh, edit it, okay? And in here, I already made one, but uh, if you wanna make a new one, just go new item and uh, basically in the properties here. Let's see here. Oh, uh, here we go. Now in the properties here, uh, you'll see that just give it a name and Java dash jar here, and put quotes if you have space and uh, just point it to the the jar file. Say, and that's pretty much it. Close and you have your uh, icon, you know, your launcher now. Uh, so that's that. Now in here, um, you have to do some settings later on. I'll show you that in a minute. But to get the games. Um, just hit up, you know, your search results. Just search for Abandonware, and you should have some uh, lists here. The first one is pretty good. Uh, Aband, Aband, what is it? Abandonia. Uh, basically, this is the website. They give you a lot of games that you can download from. So I actually went and downloaded this uh, Black Throne here. Uh, okay, uh, the retro game. So I have that, and um, I made a folder for it uh, in here somewhere. There we go. That's the folder. Uh, it's empty right now, but all you gotta do is uh, go download the, the the zip file. So I download the zip file already, and uh, this is what it looks like. So all you gotta do is just extract it. Now, that's all you really gotta do: extract it to here. Uh, most of the games are gonna be like this, just extracting it. You no, don't necessarily have to install anything. Okay. Uh, so that's that. This is all there is to the files. So we're gonna use that and make a launcher with our dbox here okay now the first thing you want to do in uh, in a uh, dbox here is uh, go to preference and make sure you point it to where the dos box is at the application that we install for our uh, synaptic okay so it's in the uh, usr folder slash bin slash uh, dos box so just type that in and uh, that's all you gotta do okay uh, so hit close there and now we're gonna make a uh, launcher for the game. So new game, uh, we're gonna call this uh, Black Throne, right? Uh, the executable is usually the name of the game that uh, you uh, are uh, installing. So you can see that it says uh, Black.exe here. So it's similar to the name of the game. Okay. Uh, and that's it. Uh, you can put an icon logo if you like, but I don't have anything. So at the speed here, just put it as super fast. And in advance, um, I think I guess they, they might fill this out for you. You know, it's in your uh, folder that you just made. Let me see the folder here. This folder, okay. Blackthorn. Uh, if they don't fill that out for you, then just uh, copy paste that in there. 
basically that's it and for the setup um, I tell you is uh, the exe right the setup exe sometimes called the installer dot exe uh, whatever it is it's usually not the name of the game okay but that's how you know the difference so hit ok uh, for the cd-rom most of this uh, don't require the cd-rom directory because uh, it's basically extracting it you don't need a cd-rom to play this but on uh, rare occasions or some other occasions uh, you do need that I'll explain that next time okay so let's forget about that right now so the, the meta information basic stuff you know the genre uh, what type it is at uh, keywords if you like and mark as favorite so basic crap you don't really need and hit OK and now you have your launcher here okay uh, to run it usually when you uh, extract some of these games they'll just allow you to just run it and you'll play it and it'll be fine but uh, for this game I know you have to set it up okay so you go to setup uh, usually the setup is just like you know the sound emulator or some bullshit like that so for this one it's pretty easy uh, all you do is push enter 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 just keep doing that you know that's that's all you gotta do and that's it you're done okay and now you can run it uh, and it'll work so you run it now and there we go now now it's working and it has sound and all that too but sometimes it's choppy now if if the game is lagging for you let me uh, explain some of the high keys that you probably don't need to know so in here you see that it says uh, 15,000 now let me, uh, let, me, let me let me use the game first okay so you see how it says 15,000 up top you can actually uh, speed that up with uh, control F12 okay and uh, that's the that's the high key to do that. And Control F8 does uh, so something like that too, similar to that. Okay, uh, that's to make the game, uh, I guess, uh, go normal or a little bit faster. If your game is choppy or is lagging, then that's what you need to do. Another high key you need to know is uh, Control F10. If you ever use a uh, Virtual Box before, think of that as the host key. So if you know your your mouse cursor is stuck in this uh, game box only. And don't let you out. Then you have to push uh, Control F10. And it'll let you go out to your window here, and uh, close it off or something. Uh, and then another one is uh, Control F9. That's to quit DOS box, and it'll just quit it. Okay. Uh, another one is uh, for full screen mode, or uh, go back to you know your window mode if you like. But it's uh, Control. I mean not Control. It's Alt and Enter, and it'll go to full screen and then back. You know, vice versa. Uh, so that's all you really gotta know, and the other controllers uh, are uh, different for you know different games. So uh, that's all you really need to know. So we're gonna go play some games here. Okay, so let me uh, zoom in here. Uh, disable that bullshit, and uh, let me turn on the sound. So. How you unhost this fucking key? There you go. Look at this shit, man. Look at that. Parkour right there, bitch. Let's see this. Watch this. I'm a fucking ninja. Look at that. <laughs> Let's see you go. <clears throat> All right, brother. Let's see you do this. I'm doing ninja shit, right? Ninja. Oh, he's not a shinobi. Bullshit. Oh yeah, what up? He's gonna give me a bomb and shit. Hold up. And I'm supposed to throw it or something like that. There we go. Look at that man. Looks like Mario Brothers right there. All right, how the hell do you do this one? Oh, he sh fucking shot me. Oh, what the fuck, bitch? Bitch. Ah, oh, fuck it. What the fuck? Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> uh -huh. There we go, let's go. 
Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do this elevator shit. Should we go up or down? I don't really know. Can we go down or up? Go up. So that's pretty much it, uh, you know, to play the game. Um, uh, so go try it out if you want some uh, retro games. Uh, that'd be that.